Microsoft sketches are finished for our desktop caddy assembly we're now ready to move to CAD and I'm going to start out by demonstrating how to start your first part which will be a standard IDW part and I will be starting with the base piece which will be 5 by 8 inches so I'm just going to do a basic part to f show you how to get this started so we're going to go up to new and we're going to select standard IPT and then we're going to start our actual sketch so start 2D sketch and now once again we're looking at one of our planes to work off of and I'd like to start the base off the XZ plane so I'll click on my XZ base plane I'll go to my line command and I'll start at the starting point and I'm going to go to the right horizontally the length of my base which is going to be 8 inches so I'll type in 8 hit enter zoom out then I'm going to go vertically the width which is going to be 5 and then I'll proceed back 8 inches to the left horizontally and come back to the starting point hit escape and now I have basically the layout for my base so now I'm going to delete the dimensions and I'm going to finish sketch so now this would be the area for my base. I would then proceed to extrude it and I'm going to go up and remember part of our criteria indicated we can either have a base that's 0.5 in thickness the maximum or the minimum 0.375 which is 3 8 I'm going to make this our half inch or 0.5 Now, as you can see, I have this located. So my next step, I'm going to locate where I would like to put in my pen holders. So I'm going to click on the top surface. I'm going to create sketch. And I'm going to place these in from the corners. I'm going to be coming one inch enter and I'm going to go up one inch enter so now I have the location for that particular hole now this would be for one of my mechanical parts that I'm going to draw later for the pen or pencil holders so I'm gonna put the hole in right now and that hole is gonna be a 0.25 actually 0.375 and I will then hit enter and you can see I have that hole so I'm going to delete it delete the bottom and delete the actual starting point also then I'm going to mirror it over to the other side using the midpoint just draw a reference and I will then do my mirror command and pick my mirror line apply and I now have it mirrored to the other side hit escape get rid of the mirror line and I'm going to finish sketch I'm gonna go ahead and extrude those at the same time direction 2 now they can't go all the way through, so I'm going to have them go down into the piece one-fourth, 0.25. And there you see I have my base complete. Now let's say I was doing a cutout in the center for our piece of paper so uh, or for our 3 by 3 sticky notes so I could click create sketch draw a line from the midpoint there's our green dot and I would go up a distance of 1.5 
actually, three. Enter, go to the right, 1.5, enter. Go to the left, 1.5. And then proceed down 90 degrees for three inches and the same on the right. Just showing you an example of where I could place these note cards, sticky cards, when you're ready to put those in place. I would get rid of the dimensions, get rid of the layout lines, and make sure you connect across the bottom with a line to close off the actual area. Now I can go ahead, finish sketch, and I'm going to extrude this direction to 0.25. I now have an area secured for that particular area. Now let's say I also want to put in my columns supports. So I'm going to click on that surface again, and I'm going to draw a line from the back corner. Once again, I'm going to come over one inch. And I'm going to come down one inch. Get rid of your dimensions. And I'd go ahead and put my circle in. And this would be a diameter of 0.5. Enter. Get rid of the dimension. Actually, I think I will make this 0.75. You can see how I modified that with a dimension. Get rid of the layout lines a mirror line temporarily at the middle and I would then proceed to mirror that hole with the mirror line to the other side. Escape, delete the layout line, finish sketch and then I can extrude both of those holes direction to a distance of, I would like these maybe a little bit deeper so I can go 0.375 and pick OK. I can now maybe put a decorative edge to go around. So I'm going to do a chamfer or a fillet, but in this case I'm going to do a chamfer. And I'm going to use 1 8 and I'm just going to go around and chamfer my edges. Apply, pick OK, and now you can see what my base might look like. Now your shape will be different. I'm just giving you a basic generic shape to work with. And if I wanted to look at it real quick, I could go up and render that with a plastic. So if I could scroll down maybe to a clear I can use the clear blue for maybe one of our plastic looks. So I highlight the object, double click, and remember I have to do several surface areas. And then if I go to the appearance for that under our view, visual, realistic, I now have sort of a blue plastic that you could see. And once again, I could render more edges with that. So I will leave you to view the video, number one. And this would be for part one, which would be the base for our particular desktop caddy assembly.